Hi, y'all. It's me. I'm back and finally recovered from Halud's amazing rack today. Thank you so much, Halud. If you guys have seen my video earlier, you'll know what I'm talking about. Oh my gosh, I'm like still floored. I'm still just totally floored. So I was away for the weekend. And so when I got back and that package was here, I thought that was today's mail. But apparently that was Saturday's mail because today the postman showed up with more packages for me. Oh my gosh, it's like, welcome home, Gina. It must be that I'm supposed to be home. <laughs> so, um, oh my gosh, plus, um, so okay, so the packages I got today is I had an order with Carlene. I was waiting on half of my order. So um, this is all CHA kind of stuff that I ordered with her, and I've been waiting for it to come in and all get in at the same time so I could, you know, have it all together. I think I still have a little more coming, but that's that. And then um, I have a few items that I bought prior to that. Um, I've been holding them here and haven't shown them yet because I just didn't, it wasn't enough to make a video. Now it's way too much stuff, but I'm going to try to squeeze it all into one. So let me just show you everything I got and, um, and go from there. So I've been really good though. Really. I know this is going to be a lot of stuff, but I've been really good. I haven't ordered because I was saving up for my gorgeous stamps. And just so in case anyone asks, um, <laughs> I have an I have a little side job that I do just to make money to buy my scrap crap because it's a big expensive hobby and you need a job just to support it if you like to buy stuff. So anyhow, but um let me just show you the things that I've gotten over the past while and then I'll show you the boxes I got today. So um these were at the 99 cent only store and they were buck a piece and you know even though they have eggs on them they don't have to necessarily be for Easter they could be birds eggs or whatever and they're so pretty and plus these other ones you can sprays you can take apart and use them on your projects so I couldn't pass those up for a dollar each so I picked those up um, I also picked up these flowers which are very beautiful in person and they're huge and they're gorgeous they're just gorgeous in person and I figured these would probably go good with the little darling collection maybe and then I picked up some leaves in green and white which um, are handy to have Dollar Tree had these wooden butterflies for uh, 10 for a dollar and they're pretty thin and nice so I got those and they also had um, the sheer organza ribbon in white cream and pink so or peachy pink so I picked those up for a buck each because I think you get like six yards on here for a buck so it's a great deal so I picked those up and then um, what did I do with that stuff I wanted to show you something my mom got me when I went to visit her for the holiday um, she said oh I went to this yard sale and I found these things and she said all I saw was bling and I thought of you and if you guys know my mom and her taste for my craft hobby, she usually, her taste isn't what mine is. So I was surprised that she did really good. She picked me these up and she said, I don't know what they're for and what you'll use them for, but I saw blingy and I figured you could use them for something. And aren't these just stunning? Look at those. And they're iridescent. They're not, they're showing not that on the camera, but they are iridescent. And oh my gosh. And I think these could be used butterflies, right? Aren't they lovely? Oh my gosh. And then these two were part of what she gave me that she found at that yard sale. And these two have iridescent around the edges, which doesn't show very well on camera. But they're just lovely. Oh my gosh, I couldn't believe it. I was like, oh my God, Mom, you did good. <laughs> so thanks, Mom. And then, um, let's see, what else did I have? Um, I went to Michael's and I was really good when I went. This was a while ago. I only actually went for paint. And if you guys haven't tried the Martha Stewart... Um, all-purpose, multi-purpose, multi-surface, or whatever they call it. Oh, it's luscious. This stuff is just luscious. I, I am totally hooked on it, and it's a little more pricey than the regular acrylic paint, but this goes on glass, wood, metal, you name it, and oh, I loved it. So I picked up a couple bottles of that, and I picked up the satin sealer, which is what I went for. And I did, excuse me, I did take a peep in the dollar bin, so I didn't buy very much, which, you know, is good for me. Um, they had these butterflies, which are in the colors there that you see and then they had some stamps that I had to get I just couldn't help myself you know for $1.50 these are crowns that they had and they're pretty good size you know they're not teensy um, they had this flirtily or something like it it's really beautiful couldn't resist that one and then they had this beautiful rose one which I thought was lovely 
also so pick that up and then they have a collection of these which you might have seen on other videos they have a giraffe a lion and something else and some banners and I just like this one because I could see it being fussy cut so I thought that was pretty cool and then I was looking for something that Friday showed on her video was some that looked like baker's twine stuff and I couldn't find any so instead I found this and I don't know what this is made out of it kind of looks just like frayed something but I thought it was kind of shabby looking it would look fun you know on projects and it was really cheap so I went ahead and picked that up and that's what I did at Michael's really good I thought for me if you know me so, and then one day I was watching Roseanne's video here on YouTube. Hey, Roseanne. And she showed this stamp and I just had to order it. I couldn't, I couldn't wait. Isn't that lovely? It says, I love Paris in the springtime. And I love the Eiffel Tower, but I'm not so much the Eiffel Tower itself, but I like it with flowers around it. It looks so beautiful to me. I just... I just, I don't know, I put her video on pause and ran and ordered one. And from the same place that I ordered this, I ordered these as well. These are like Paris inchies. You can see the little girl there with the Eiffel Tower there. And the poodle's really cute too. And these are just all Paris images kind of thing. So I picked those up. And then um, that was that. And then, okay, so next i've been on this kick i can't tell you what kick i am on a banner kick and i've been hoarding jojo's banner die over here because i meant to give it to her last time i saw her and it was cha and we just it didn't happen so um jojo you will get it this week <laughs> even though i want to steal it from you because i love it so much and you've caused me to not only spend my time searching for it which i have not found but also to buy other things because i can't find that <laughs> So I bought this instead. Joanns.com had free shipping, and I went ahead and ordered this because I figured, you know what, I'm not going to find the one, the JoJo's that she has. So this might be the next best thing I can get, and they might not have it if I wait too long. So that's the, the size there. It's very large, probably like six inches. Then you get that one, this one, and this one, and then you get these two, these pieces here. So I thought that was really nice. These, like I said, are it's pretty. It's a pretty good size pendant banner so I picked that one up and then a day after I placed that order um, I happened to be online at a place that I go and this girl was selling this for $12 including shipping and I couldn't pass it up and it's the Stampin Up banner <laughs> so I think I have enough banners for a while I can make them work somehow I'll piece them together to get something similar to Jojo's and this one looks brand new I don't think this girl ever used it at all because it's like brand new so I was so happy to get this for $12 because I think it runs for like 30 some dollars plus shipping from Stampin' Up. So yay me. Okay, next thing I got, and this is the last of that kind of stuff. Then I'll show you the mail I got. And sorry, I'm going to try to talk as fast as I can. But um, B Misty, who's shabby beautiful here on YouTube, I was watching one of her videos and she had um, something and she said, oh, check it out on my Zibit store. Well, when I went to her Zibit store, which if you go to Zibit.com and search her name, you'll find her shop. And when I went there to look for that, um, instead I found something else and I had to have it instead. Because <laughs> you know me, Stampitis. Look at how beautiful this is. It says, gather the roses of love whilst there is yet time and isn't that beautiful i love collage looking stamps and you know that have several images going on so here you've got the quote the flower and then the the clock in the background i just think it's gorgeous and these are from um creative companion which is out of australia so simply beautiful i just could not resist that one and then also she had this one and i know you guys are going to be jealous because it's so pretty <laughs> Look at that. It's a postcard, the clock and the Eiffel Tower and some flourish all together in one. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my gosh, I love this stamp. And it's red rubber too. Really nice. So that was from Misty. And then she sent me a few little um, tags and some garment pins and some flowers as a little thank you. So thank you, Misty. And then, okay, so now let me get, that was one of the packages that came today was Misty's package. And now is from Carleen. And like I said, this is the other half of my order I've been waiting on. So there's quite a bit of stuff here, but I'll try to go as fast as I can. I'm getting out of breath. <laughs> okay, so first thing, my favorite, Melissa Francis. I love, 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 love her stuff. I got to meet her at CHA, which was awesome. And this is her C'est La Vie um, collection. And she's a breast cancer survivor. And um, that's what this collection is all about. 
And anyway, it's um, it's stunning. If you know Melissa Francis, you know that you need to see her papers in person to really appreciate them because the colors are so um, soft and beautiful and um, the designs. So you have to really see this in person. My God, that's stunning. So um, I got the C'est La Vie collection and I also bought the sticker pack that comes with that collection. And um, you get the banners and the, I mean the borders and the little pieces here. Um, you get journaling spots here, and then you get, um, I believe the alphabet is next. Yes, that's the alphabet there. You can see you just punch them out. And then these beautiful pieces of artwork to go with the collection. And then there's some more artwork with um, journaling spots, a couple of them here. Isn't that lovely? So I thought that made a nice addition for Melissa Francis' collection. And then I had to get this one. This is Charlotte's Dream by Kaiser Craft really pretty paper too. I love it. I just, oh, I said, okay, I'll have that one too. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. You guys, if I lined up end to end every piece of paper I have, I would have enough to circle this earth. I don't know how many times over. <laughs> I just have so much paper. It's ridiculous. I don't think I'll ever use everything I have. Um, what's really nice about Kaiser is that they always put border stickers and um, journaling spots and things in their paper packs so you don't have to purchase them separately. That's a nice feature. Uh, I had to get this one because it's one of my favorites of my mind's eye. It's the Follow Your Heart collection. And um, I'll flip through this really fast in case you haven't seen it. You probably have because I'm like just getting my stuff right now. But it's still a beautiful collection really pretty and then um i had to have this in the six by six i have it in the 12 by 12. it's from basil it's vintage marketplace by margie romney and she is actually girls papery which is no longer existing sad to say um, but these look very very much girls paper even though you know she's with basil but hey it's all good as long as i can still get her stuff i'm happy what's really nice about basil um that she works with them not only you get the um, pattern paper but they also put the solid colors in for you as well so you don't have to try to coordinate matching paper awesome idea so that and then this one I had never seen before this collection is by a company called Dovercraft and I'd never heard of them before um, this one's called Tea Party and I like the soft colors it's just a really cutesy little cakes and past pastries kind of paper and um, I'm going to flip through that so you can see it. A lot of these nice, what's nice, I guess, for me, and like having a lot of these different collections, is that you can sometimes mix them in with other companies' collections because the colors are so similar that, you know, you can use and mix match stuff. So look at how cute that is. That's the cake and teapots and stuff. Really cute. That one has baby cupcakes on it. Very cute paper. So that one's called Tea Party. Carlene has all this stuff in her shop, or if she doesn't, she can order it. So um, check it out, you know. And I had to get this. Now this is from Prima. And this is not the ledger pad that they had before. This one's a new one, I believe. It's a 12 by 12. And I like the colors because they're um they're more not pastel-y, but they're the browns and the greens, the yellow, that muted kind of browny pinky color. And it's just ledger paper. And again, I only got this to go with all my other collections as secondary papers, background papers, because um, I just, I just like it. I think it's really cool looking to have it in the background. Maybe, you know, you rip the corner of your page and have it peeking out from behind or, you know, whatever. It's really pretty. So you could see there, I think you get three of each sheet. And so the colors are really soft. So if you want that, that's a new, a new one. Eight four four, four two four is the number. It doesn't have a name, so that's the ledger pad. And then, oh my gosh, this is my favorite of Prima's collections, the Songbird collection. I love it. It's so beautiful. And this is the A four size, um, which I like because you know it's a little better than getting a six by six because then you have extra paper to work with. And if you know Prima, they always put look how pretty that is. They always put um, oh, this one right that I just showed you. It has a graph paper on the background. I don't know if you could see that in there, but oh my gosh, it's lovely. Um, they always put journaling stuff in here and little things you can cut apart and 
probably they'll be here. Look at the stamps. Oh my gosh. How stinking cute are those? And so many sheets. Look at that. You get three sheets of each, I'm guessing. And um, awesome. Oh, look how cute. I love this collection. Okay. I'm sure their other ones are pretty too. I just haven't really focused. I'm trying not to shop anymore. I'm just trying to use now, like, keep it, you know, down to the things I saw at CHA. Look at how gorgeous this is. You could cut all of those out for sure. And there's another one. I know there's another one in here that I like. Look at this. These are all little tickets with the alphabet on them. And little, um, you could use these circles over here and bottle caps. Journaling spots and little things to cut out. So cute. Oh, more journaling spots. Look at that. Oh my gosh. And you get three pages of them. Isn't that just lovely? Beautiful collection. And then Prima style, they don't put names on things. So I don't know what to tell you except that I think this one is the one that goes with the Songbird collection because I see a nest in there. So I, I can't remember what I ordered because it's been so long. Um, but I think that's what that is. And then this one, I know they have another collection that has fairies on it, and I'm not sure what the name of that is, but this is the ones with the fairies in them. Um, I don't want to open these because there's so many little pieces in there, but there's several with fairies in here, and just really beautiful. So I picked up a couple of those. And then, oh, I love this paper collection right here. This is called um, This and That, and it's made by Echo Park. It's the Graceful Collection. And these colors look really bright on camera, but in person, they're not that bright. They're just um, bold colors, but oh, so pretty. And um, the other thing I like about Echo Park, too, is they give you the stickers. Here, down here, you can see the stickers, the alphabet stickers, and little other borders and stuff, and journaling cards. So you get everything in one package. You don't have to pay extra. Look at how stinking cute. Look at that. And the banner. Oh, love that banner. Love it. And just really beautiful. Just beautiful things to use with your collection. Look at the um, borders there. Isn't that lovely? So that's called the This and That Graceful Collection by Echo Park. And then, oh my gosh, I'm having more room over here. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm trying to go fast. I have a couple more things and I'll be done. Um, I had to get this. My favorite paper so far this year was the London Market. I loved it when I saw it at CJ. I about fell out of my socks when I saw it and I had to get it. And I have it in the um, 6x6, but I definitely wanted the 12x12 and the ephemera pack to go with it. So I got that too. And I know you've all seen this already, so I'm not going to open that either. And then, okay, a few more. Okay, you know I have this baby obsession, right? And um, I ordered the Little Darling collection, which was in my last video from Carlene. So I got the chipboard pieces to go with it. I just could not resist these. They're so beautiful. It just They're just perfect for this collection. I mean, oh, the things you, oh, it's so gorgeous. I can't, I need a baby or something. <laughs> and here's the other one. Look at how stinging beautiful these are. Oh, those are those little cupie dolls or something from years and years. Okay, I'm dating myself. Shut up, Gina. <laughs> oh my gosh, aren't they beautiful? I love that one right there. I've seen that in a painting. So beautiful. And then last but not least, and I'm done, and I thank you for sticking around this long. I got um, the stamps to go with the collection because I just couldn't resist it. Um, this is one with a stork. I think there's actually three in uh, the collection, three stamp sets, but I only got two. And this one has the stork, and then that says sent from heaven. Look at that beautiful little baby. And the border's so pretty. Oh my gosh, I love that. And this is the other one. And this one says little darlings and the mama and her baby. And oh my gosh, look at how beautiful these are. Um, lullaby. And this one looks like a postage mark um, with the baby on it. Oh my gosh, darling. And look at that one down there sleeping on his pillow. Oh, the border. Oh, so stinking cute. Okay. Thank you so much. I'll put links below for you and thanks for sticking with me so long. And okay. Bye. Thank you all. Bye. Hello. Thank you.